What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. So I finally decided to upgrade my Mac Mini 2012. So today I've got my hands on the most recent Apple Mac Mini in space gray. So first of all, let's begin with the unboxing. Let's get this open. So very nicely packaged. If I lift off the Mac Mini. Wow. Beautiful space gray to match my MacBook Pro. Absolutely gorgeous. What else do we get in the box? If I just put this on the side. Your usual Apple paperwork and stickers. Simply a power cable. So this is all you get in the box. Mac mini power cable and user manual. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now this has the Intel Core i5 6 core CPU and that's clocked at 3 gigahertz. It's the same CPU as found in the 2019 iMac models. So you're getting the very nice Intel Core i5 8th generation CPU. Now there's no AMD card in this. You've got an Intel Ultra HD graphics 630, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 256 gigabyte internal storage, and that's an SSD drive. You've got dual band Wi-Fi AC, a gigabit LAN. This has got Bluetooth version 5. You're running the latest version of Mac OS, HDMI version 2.0, and lots more. So let's quickly have a look at the ports. And you'll notice that the ports are completely taped up, so you have to remove the sticker. You've got to love Apple packaging. You buy a brand new Apple product, it feels so good to unbox. Now you've got a physical power button, your power socket, a gigabit LAN. You've got four Thunderbolt 3 ports, so they're USB-C and support speeds up to 40 gigabits per second. Now over here you have an HDMI version 2.0 output and you also have two full-size USB 3 ports and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the bottom and you do have vents at the bottom. Now while we're here, let's do a quick side by side. So over here we have the latest, most recent Mac Mini. It came out, I believe in 2018, correct me if I'm wrong. And over here is my 2012 model. Now side by side, they look very similar in size and design apart from the obvious color. If I put them on top, again, you can see that they are exactly the same size. Now, the 2012 model was the last Mac Mini which you could actually properly customize. Now, you can just flip it around and you can see it's well used. But it's a very reliable system. It's still working absolutely fine. I've actually edited some videos recently on this machine and it did lag a little bit, but I can still work with it. So you can change the RAM, you can add a hard drive. I've got two hard drives in here at the moment. I got one SSD and one regular SATA drive. You can see all that dust in the fan and you've got your memory modules there as well. Now the reason why I like Mac Mini is the portability. I can use it on any screen and I can travel with it. I can take it where, anywhere I like. I can take it to another office or even a hotel and work from there. So I like the portability of it. If I buy the equivalent iMac, that's going to stay on my desk and, it's, and I'm not going to be able to take it anywhere with me. And I also really like this screen. This is the BenQ 4K display. It's 37 inches, ultra wide screen. And I absolutely love working on that. And I don't want to limit myself by getting an iMac and not being able to do anything else on it. Now with this screen, I can connect my Mac mini up, but I can also connect up my PlayStation 4 or my PC or anything else that I want to connect. So I have more versatility by choosing Mac mini. So let's quickly compare the ports and you will notice quite a few differences here. 2012 at the bottom, 2018 at the top. Power buttons, power sockets. You can see that you've got the latest Thunderbolt 3 over here with HDMI. Much bigger ventilation as opposed to what we used to have. So the SD card slot has also been removed along with a few other ports. 
Now what I like about the new model is I will be able to use any regular USB-C adapters and I've got loads of these and that just gives you access to the ports that are missing such as SD, micro SD, etc. So there you have it guys, that was my very quick unboxing of the latest Mac Mini 2018 model. I have been using Mac Mini for a very long time. Um, I actually got two systems. I use the Mac Mini in the office and when I'm traveling I've got the MacBook Pro and they work really well together. I think an upgrade was long overdue and I finally picked one up. Now I really was debating with myself whether I want a Mac Mini or an iMac but when I saw this for sale in John Lewis a hundred pounds cheaper than the Apple Store and you get a two-year warranty. Now I've also ordered a few bits and pieces, Magic Mouse 2, Magic Keyboard 2, and I've even ordered the Magic Trackpad 2. And when that all arrives, I will drop another video. So that was a very quick unboxing and overview of the Mac Mini 2018. If you wanna see a more in-depth review of this product, where I put this to the test, editing videos, graphic design, web design, etc., let me know in the comments below, and you know I'll get it done just for you guys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.